Hey guys, how's it going? You're watching Nostalgic Reviews, and today... Oh yeah, look at that. What's that? Whoa, what's that? Why is that different? Whoa, oh my god, holy, look at that. Would you look at that? We're doing this today, guys. Oh yeah. Let's add this to the good old Nostalgic Collection. Shelby GT500 Dragon Snake concept. And compare it to the other cars you just saw. There you go, let's get into this. All right, so here you go. Here is the packaging and it's uh, full glory, I guess. <laughs> uh, limited to 4200, this is scale 164, Mini GT, Miho exclusive. Uh, this is the Shelby GT500 Dragon Snake concept, uh, Ford Performance Blue. So this is the iconic Shelby Blue. As far as I understand, there's your logos, number 568, be older than 14, that includes if you're watching this video, you should be more than 14, and uh, on the back we have the usual TSM model, M&J toys, all of your uh, holograms, all of your Shelby American, and all those licenses acquired so let's get rid of all this uh, wasteful plastic and uh, take a look at this uh, awesome freaking model man i'm excited about this oh quick shout out i got this from a uh, diecast vault on whatnot so yeah not sponsored just uh, letting you know where i got it from all right uh let's uh cut this open Doo -doo -doo -doo. don't really waste time on this because i don't really Obviously, I'm going to be throwing this out, but I am saving the box and the um, the card artwork that's behind the car. There we go. Simple enough. All right, so I am going to take this out and put it in a box, uh, but you don't need to watch that, obviously. Uh, this little piece of plastic, I will be... Uh, recycling even though plastic no longer gets really recycled uh have a quick little look at this box here nice shiny standard mini gt design choo, 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 choo. there you go and uh inside here it does come with uh more plastic in case you want to store this later so you can put your mustang right in there and uh you know, if you're moving or whatever. So I save these boxes for that reason. That day I have to move or whatever. I don't have to wrap each car in toilet paper. <laughs> I can put them back in the box. Or if I need a kidney, I can always uh, sell it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's have a look at this. Okay, guys. So uh, here we go. Um, so if you guys don't know, I absolutely love Shelby's. I love Mustangs. Uh, it has been an obsession of mine, Mustangs I mean, since I was a teenage boy, um, and Shelby's are even more important, ooh, even more important to me because, um, Shelby's are, uh, I owned, uh, not Mustangs, but I owned Shelby Dodges, same Carol Shelby, he put out a bunch of, uh, Shelby Dodges in the 80s, uh, and I own two Shelby Dodge Lancers and uh, Turbo and all that. I used to street race and all that fun stuff uh, in, on the mean streets of Philadelphia back in the, in the 90s and 2000s. But uh, anyway, enough of that. Um, this is cool. This is a different Dragon Snake uh, logo here. We'll compare it to my other one and uh, we'll see how how that looks but that is interesting it's like a pink cobra shooting flames out of its mouth what the f <laughs> dragon snake okay oh, let me zoom in a little i don't have to hold this right in front of the camera all right oh, there we go wow okay so let's start at the bottom and then we'll compare to the others uh, so many GT. I wish they would write uh, the year and uh, you know all that good stuff like it says on the box. You know, like I feel like this information needs to be on the bottom here, right? 
I mean, not everyone keeps boxes, um, but in any case. So, beautiful paint, metallic. Uh, the, the mirrors are rubber, but they're hard rubber, so I don't see these drooping over time. So that's a nice improvement. Sometimes they're just way too soft and rubbery. GT5, a GT500 uh, and Dragon Snake, very legible can be red, which is fantastic. Shelby back here. Uh, let's see, Shelby on the back. There's your uh, beautiful wing. I love the way this wing looks on this car. You have your translucent headlights. That's fantastic. Beautiful Cobra on the front grill. All black on the inside interior and translucent red tail lights. Look at those puppies. Nice. Nice little exhaust tips back here. Really cool. And if you want, you can always unscrew this thing and customize it if you wish. Which is, you know, nowadays I've been noticing that Mini GT's been, uh, like I can pick these up for 10 bucks a piece, which is an unheard of number, you know, uh, Hot Wheels is about seven dollars. This is way more detailed. I mean, there's actual headlights in here. Uh, I mean, way more detailed than premium Hot Wheels. I mean, by far, you can't even compare these. But uh, all right, so let's take a look at my other um, Snakey Boo. So this is what I was looking at. Oh, this is the Dragon Snake. Yeah. Wait, they're both dragon snakes. All right, I'm I'm special. I got confused because the sticker is different. But see, I don't know much about this. I'm not sure why this one's a pink <laughs> fire breathing dragon snake, and this one's this. I actually really like this one. I love how this lo uh, logo looks like. I don't know if like Mini GT are doing variations or. What? But yeah, these are identical cars as far as I can see. I need to zoom out, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> so there they are. See, these are like kind of reverse of each other. Blue on white and white on blue. But yeah, uh, if anyone knows, definitely let us know in the comments what the deal is with the uh, different logos on these puppies. That's awesome. Not complaining at all. So yeah, happy to uh, add this guy to this guy. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, let me show you uh, some of the other ones. So my other mini GT Mustang is the Shmi one. You guys know of that one. And there you go. Just kind of showing you a little bit. Got the different wing. It's a slightly different uh, specs. You know what I mean? So there's the Shmi model. Love the black with a little bit of red there. Okay. Always be careful with these when you're handling them. Try not try to avoid touching those rears. This is the first ever Mini GT I got. This one was given to me by uh, my good friend Vic of Diecast Creepo. Check out diecastcreepo.com. Uh, they sell a lot of awesome diecasts there. Uh, anyway, yeah, just uh, shouting them out. I get a lot of my stuff there also. So, But yeah, check this out. Liberty Walk, Shmi. It's like a trifecta of coolness. Imagine all the people living life in peace. Peace. You may say that I'm a dreamer, but I think I creeped you out. I think I'll stop singing. Okay. Liberty Before Performance. Anyway, this one's really cool too. So these are my ponies, same color as that one. Um, then we have this little super treasure hunt here. Nothing crazy. Shout out to Foxy86 underscore part two. Epic trade we did years ago. 
love this thing. There's your main line, basic, but super treasure hunt. I think these are actually kind of pricey these days. And then we have Auto World version. Look at this puppy. Auto World, like, they're all right. Um, I mean, does the hood open on Auto World? I think it does, yeah. So that's one thing that's uh, really cool about Auto World is the hood opens. Uh, definitely does not open on the Mini GT. So, but, so there's your uh, little bit of comparison there. Uh, the world's a little bulkier. You know, they have their differences, like uh, how the world paints their taillights, you know, and, and headlights. So, I mean, I don't know. I think I would rather have uh, translucent plastic headlights and taillights than an opening hood. Um, the wheels are definitely better on Mini GT. Yeah, the wings definitely. Uh, the wings roughly the same. But yeah, I, I definitely prefer the Mini GT, to be honest with you. But awesome to have both. So yeah, that's that. And I also have this out of the world. Also from my boy Ruben. So yeah, there you go. So these are my premium Mustangs. I have a whole Mustang collection. I'm not showing those off to you. Not in this video, because uh, that would take hours. <laughs> so these are my Mini GT Auto World and uh, one Hot Wheel, just for you guys to kind of see the differences. So yeah, this is really cool. Uh, someone let me know about what Mini GT is all about with these uh, different decals on the back. Are they all different? How many variants are there? I don't freaking know. Is this a chase? Who knows? Let me know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love this thing. Uh, so yeah. Happy to add it to my collection. All right, guys, that'll be the review. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Nas. You just watched Nostalgic Reviews. See you next time. Mm -hmm.